So welcome to the Geneva International Motor Show 2017. Our resident blogger Tim Olin is already inside, so let's go and see what this year's show has to offer. So one of the most popular cars played for actually at BOTB is this, the Nissan GTR. This is a 2017 edition. It is unbelievable. How many horsepower has it got? 562. 562 horsepower. Um, we've actually got someone that won one a couple of months ago, which is being collected, I believe, this weekend coming. So we'll get that collection video out and you can have a look at someone uh, actually collecting their brand new GTR. But this is an unbelievable car. Yeah. Still yet to drive one. You've got one coming soon, haven't you? You've yep, got to yep. press one. Indeed, yeah, I'm going to be driving it. We'll do some videos on that, I think. Yeah, I'll well, I'll be coming up. to join you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. please do. Yeah, whether, it's whether crazy. Or not, Launch mode. We have to try launch mode. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. orange. It has to be the orange one. It has to be. Yeah, it's I love this color. Would you say orange or, or bronze? Orangey bronze. Orangey bronze. Right, let's go and have a look at what else we can find. So here we are at the Audi stand. Now, just before we go and have a look at all the R8s and the uh, new TTRS, I want to have a look at this because Tim's uh, pointed out that this is quite a spectacular car, the brand new yeah. RS5. Yeah, this is uh, it's a bit of a step change for Audi on this one because the old RS5 and RS4 had the big stonking V8. That's gone. Downsizing. This is a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6. Okay, so more kind to the earth. Kind of the earth. Still got 450 horsepower though. Good. <laughs> you know, still a lot of power, four wheel drive, and look at it. It is a fantastic I think it looking looks car. Fantastic, this thing. I mean, you, the, this one's obviously specced up to the nines. You've got carbon and you've everything. I was going to say, there's a lot more carbon fibre on it than I initially thought. And you told me earlier about these wheels, because they're quite special, aren't they? They've been forged out of what? One piece of aluminium, is it? Yeah, well, no, normally cars, are, you know, wheels are cast or forged. This is one massive lump. Of aluminium that's been machined down to the, each wheel so basically it's a huge amount of waste but they look awesome <laughs> it's all about how it looks and the great thing about this car is we are going to be adding it to the lineup at BOTB so you could be winning the car behind me exactly I really want it <laughs> and this is the engine that's going to go in the new RS4 Avant as well a very very popular car it's a fax day fax Wednesday Right, we've just arrived at the Honda stand and the first thing I want to have a look at is this, the brand new NSX. Now, you told me, and I'm hugely jealous of this, you're going to get to drive one soon. Yep, hopefully so. Well, it's, it's, it's agreed and we're getting it in there. Amazing. I'll be picking you up, don't worry. <laughs> good, good. So it's the GTR and now you're going to pick me up in this as well. Yeah. I'm going to be having a good day. So stats on this, because this is obviously kind of a hybrid system that it's working on. It is, it is, yep. Yeah. 573 horsepower, no 16 under three seconds pretty spectacular yeah for a car that's you know only just over hundred thousand pounds yeah now you know. what's quite interesting about this is it's got a lot to live up to because the original kind of classic NSX was just such an icon and so many yeah. people love to not only own a car but just drive it and everyone that I know that has ever driven an NSX has just been blown away so when you get this and we go out on this I'll be really interested to see what it's like but yeah, the styling is I think it looks oh yeah, it looks it's, unbelievable it's incredible like carbon roof yeah. and all those kind of bits um, uh, from what I've heard, it's a bit like a mini Porsche 918 Spyder. Really? In the way it drives. So, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm very, very eager to get behind the wheel and see Okay, what's... great. Well, hopefully we'll be bringing another video uh, to you soon at some point of when Tim gets his hands on this brand new NSX. So while we're at the Audi stand, it'd be silly not to come and have a look at one of the cars that is in the lineup that you could be winning on a Tuesday. Of course, the fantastic Audi R8. Now, the one behind us, uh, what's that, 532 horsepower? Yeah, 532, 201 mile an hour top speed. Have you driven one of these before? I have. Have you? What's it yeah. like? Because uh, out of all the cars in the show, obviously there's a lot I haven't driven, but there's a lot I have, and I've never been behind the wheel of an R8. It's, it's an Audi. So it, you're just driving around, it feels like a TT, but then you put your foot down and it's a Huracan. <laughs> because it's the same engine. It's still the same V10 engine that you get in the Huracan, just slightly detuned. Well, talking of the TT, something very special here that this is the first time I've actually seen is the brand new TT RS. Let's go and have a quick look at that. So we've popped over to the Land Rover stand yeah. because we needed to see this. A lot, a lot of chat. A lot yeah. of, I sound like Silla Black then. This a lot, a lot, lot of chat. chat. This is the car at the moment, isn't it? So it's a lot sleeker than I thought. Mm -hmm. And this uh, Velar, as it's now been named, is quite the thing that would just slip through the air, even though it's huge and it weighs yeah. quite a lot it's actually when you see it when you see it on the stand here you can you can gauge the size actually because it's it's quite a bit small in the range Rover sport it's a, it's above the evoke but it's below the sport in the range and i mean we we've got this in the competition already even though it's just been launched here it was it came out last wednesday and we've just stuck it on haven't we? we've got two models we've available. got two we've got a slightly more basic base spec one with a little diesel engine 
and we've got one that looks just like this. Well, this is the first edition, but we've got this 380 horsepower petrol engine with all the bells and whistles and everything you can imagine. It's, so the low one's six pounds, the top one's eight pounds. It's a really, really good looking okay. car, actually. And the inside, as you'll see now, is lovely, really luxurious. So we've now come over to a stand that maybe not a lot of people will know about. It's the Alpine stand. And the reason I know about Alpine was because uh, it was quite a while ago. Uh, I think it was one of the first Gran Turismo games. It was yeah. one of the manufacturers in it. Now they've brought out a new car. It's called the A110 and it is actually a fantastic bit of kit. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going along the same theory as the Alpha 4C. So it's, it's lightweight, it's just over a ton. It's got a mid-engine rear-wheel drive, 250-ish horsepower, um, four-cylinder turbo engine. So it's lightweight, it's going to drive, it's a direct rival for the Porsche Cayman 718, so it's going to be a bit of rivalry there, but uh, I think it looks fantastic. It does look really good, and um, we're going to add it to the website as well, so you can play for this car behind me, which is a car that I really want to drive, so if someone wins it, I really hope we can get hold of one to surprise you, because I keep looking at it every time we walk around and I'm just like, I really want to drive it to see what it drives like because I bet it's a real driver's car. So while Tim towers over me still here at the Geneva Motor Show on the I'm Audi stand, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to see how you fit in this in a second because we're looking nice. at the brand new TT RS. It's what, 400 horsepower, four wheel drive. Yeah. It looks really mean. I mean, the first generation TT, one of my friends owned and I kept calling it a hairdresser's car <laughs> whilst I owned an MX-5, I have to admit. Okay. But the, the new generation TT is just mean, aggressive, it looks fantastic. We've got it online now at BOTB.com, so you could be winning one of these. And I think I think it's a really good step up for Audi. It is, this is, this is the, the performance of this is incredible. It's 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, which makes this faster to 60 than the original V10 R8. There you go, they just keep getting better and better, these cars. In a, in a, in a 50 grand TT. Yeah. And you can put the roof down. So coming down slightly on the price scale, but it is on the BOTB website, so you could be win uh, winning one of these. The brand new Honda Civic Type R. Now, this is quite a funny car because it's brand new, but it's kind of not brand new. It's still front wheel drive. Uh, it's only a few more horsepower, is it, than the... Yeah, 10, so it's still it's 316 horsepower. So it's still, manual. Yeah, it's still, it's still down on the, you know, the Focus RS. It's not quite up to their sort of power levels. I don't, know, I don't know about you, but for me, the old Civic Type R was actually my favourite car hatch. Really? Yeah, it was It was a real scrabbly kind of Which Which version? The, the one just before this? Or? Yeah, the, oh, okay. the previous one. Because the first generation one for me was, I think, the best, with the original VTEC engine. That's yeah. kind of, that, that's where, uh, for me, passion lied with Honda. They've yeah. kind of now gone down this route of, I mean, is this turbocharged? Yep. Yeah, yeah so they've got another, the last one. Yeah, yeah. it's a turbocharging, which is great because obviously emissions come down and you get more horsepower and it's in a way some say more enjoyable to drive but yep. for me it's still the classic is, is where it's at but the classic what that lacked is obviously what this looks like because this looks unbelievably good it's yeah. aggressive it's strong uh in red it looks unbelievable i still love the way they put these kind of british touring car championship vents behind the wheels i think it, it looks an unbelievable car and as we were saying it's it's on the website, so you could be winning one of these. I could be turning up to someone's house on a Tuesday in a brand new Honda Civic Type R. So that was the Geneva International Motor Show 2017. Thank you for showing us around, Tim. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, don't forget, let us know in the comments what your favorite cars were. We're gonna go out because it's really cold outside. <laughs> we'll see you next time.